Hello, this is Crackman6 playing with my squeaky chair. Anyway, this is Crackman6 playing some Wind Waker. This is the third episode. I got my notes in quotes, and let's just dive in to the water or whatever this place is made of. Oh, yeah, it's made of water. The entire Wind Waker place is filled with water. Okay. Enough cranking, I uh, just spoiled her level to 0 0.0001, let's just head into it. Head into wall. It, it did work. Stupid controls. Controls are always stupid. If you're, if you're somebody who's interested in games but never played it, controls are stupid. Did I just say that in the weirdest voice ever? Probably. I... I do have the weirdest voice ever. Am I right? Yes. Correct. Okay, so... Let's head back into Dragon Roost Island. Hopefully I can get the dungeon done by today. Today? Or whatever. Uh, I noticed something really creepy about my microphone. I know that sounds weird, but trust me. On the back of it, it has two, two, like, just letters and then three numbers. That sounds normal. First two letters, SF. That seems normal. But you won't believe me when the next three numbers are 666. Six, six. It's not good. I don't think I should be using this, but hey, it's the best way I can really do this. So, let's see. Medley. What up? You and your stupid harp. How can a harp reflect a bunch of light? I've, you know what? I'd love to see that. Well, actually, if you think about it, every single object on the entire universe is available to reflect light. It's just some do it much more than- Uh, something I want to figure out. Is this game compatible with, uh, an amiibo? Yeah. I'm gonna see. Uh, dang it, my pro controller is not amiibo compatible, so this is gonna be hard to figure out. Uh, I do actually have a lot of Zelda amiibos. I got a Wind Waker one right here. It's the one where he's pointing the Wind Waker. I actually got it in, the, in a set Zelda. That was pretty good. And that just... It's good. So let's just get right into this after Medley stops talking. Equip a bottle. Without the bottle, I would not be able to complete, well, this game. I have to do it with that and go up. I honestly would not be able to get up this thing. Well, maybe. I don't know. Just with the right shoes. Maybe with a smaller shoe. Oh. Controls were going a little out of whack. Out of whack? Or whack. <laughs> Just anything including whack. Throw it. Oh, I did not have the right timing. And let's see. Yes. Perfect. Did it first try? Probably no. Okay. Uh, just so you know, today, well, at least the day I'm going to upload this, is the day the Super Mario Odyssey stream comes out, so... Please make sure you watch that. I am very, 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 very excited for it. And I cannot wait. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, I'm doing, I'm going to be doing that with Boyleaf. Boyleaf98. If you don't know him, then you are new to this channel. <laughs> Honestly, because if you don't know him, you don't know my channel. I do pretty much everything with him. Oh god, 
That just wasted me like a million years worth of gameplay. Once I get back there, it's gonna be like episode 256. Well, let's go. Where is that even coming from? It's coming from nowhere. Games are mysterious like that, aren't they? <gasps> I just got lucky. <laughs> I meant to pick this up, but I rolled. Oh, yeah. There is actually a glitch to get, um, to, like, skip the second one. But it is really hard and risk-taking, because if you fail, you have to start all the way back over there. Then it's gonna be another 256 years. And now we are in the dungeon! With the three guardians of... I don't, I don't know. The three guardians of Dragon Roost Cavern. They've been protecting this area for as long as my grandmother has lived. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Spin! No. <laughs> this is so easy! I got wow, those things are weak. But wait until I get into uh, Dark Knots. Dark Knots? Dark Knights? I, I, I'm not sure. I have not. I have not played The Legend of Zelda in a very long time. So, puzzle we have indeed. Two unlit torches and a pedestal. What do we do? We light the torches. We take the sticks. We take the sticks. Yes, please. They are not lit anymore. Now we shall lit it. Did I just say we shall lit it? My grammar errors and me forgetting things. That is just what I do here at Crafty Man 6 Gaming. Okay, so light the two torches and voila. That that's like dark magic right there. I wish I had the power to do that. It's like I lost my keys. Boom. Summon a chest with keys inside of them. Uh throw, I guess. So there we go. I don't know how he breaks his key every time he opens up a locked door. It does not make any sense. He should have had a Wind Waker guide to... I wish it just said, if only he could have kept the key, then he would be able to... Like, if I kept the key, I could have just opened that door and everything would... That was stupid. Okay. Everything would be super easy if I just didn't break the key every time. Or maybe it's like... There's this one Luigi's Mansion cutscene where Luigi opens a locked door and the key like dissolves after he uses it. So I'm imagining that's what happens in Wind Waker. I mean, they were both for the GameCube, so I guess both in the same universe? Probably not. So, speaking of the Wind Waker God, I actually have a Wind Waker HD guide, so I am ready for anything. Well, that time I did not get lucky. Ugh. My butt's burning. So, is it just filled with water or magic potion? Probably just water. Well, I guess water is a magic potion, if you think about it. H2O. Da 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 da. Okay. We got the dungeon map. I won't even be needing that. Who knows? Maybe I will be needing it. Oh. You are not looking good. Oh gosh. Ugh. So. Once I go up here, I gotta stop about here. If I don't stop, then I just get hit in the face with all that gooey slime. Ugh. Slime videos, it's so cringy. Ugh! Ah, oh, there we go. I took the sword now. Dang it. Okay. Oops. I did it out of anger. Okay. There's nothing in the- I am having so many mistakes. So, 
Ugh. There we go. You just bobble around and then die. I bet that's what I'm gonna do when I die. I'm just gonna bobble around like like one of those bobble toy bobble head things. <laughs> and then explode into purple dust. And then a bunch of ooey slime is just gonna goose out of me. That's probably my death for ya. Oh wow! It just spawned right inside of me. That did not sound right. So let's see. I have everything to record this. There's way too many wires on the left of my TV screen, to be honest. I should have them organized or something. Well, I guess they're kind of organized. I just know where they are. It's just like, to somebody who's never seen that, it's just like, this is a mess. <laughs> okay, there we go. That part is really tricky. So we got a key from that last part, and now we can open that chest. No, this is not a chest. I am terrible at talking. In general. Uh, I, I was trying to read my notes and quotes. I was not being able to. Choo-choo's! Why are they named after the sound a train makes? It does not make sense. Okay, so... Die! Dang! Sick tricks! Okay. So then... Voila! I know that happens. Ah! He is dead. I pick up the stick. I burn it. I burn this. Throw the stick. Go through, step on the switch. I know everything. It's just what I do. Just walking towards the wall. Ay ay ay. So I think I'm very sure that I'm gonna be doing Bendy and the Ink Machine for the Halloween episode. But it will but Halloween is on the day that uh, the Monday stream should be on, so I'll be uploading the Monday stream YouTube video a little bit later, sorry, but that's what I need to do. I apologize for that. But it's all worth it to get that Halloween episode. Dang. I got him in when he only did one thing. And I get one rupee. That's nice. Okay. Once again, I'm using that weird bobbling head trick. It's all about the bobbling heads around here. And move to left. Unfortunately, this part does not have the bobblehead part. Let's get up and go. Stupid wedges. In the Zelda universe, uh, it just bombs. Grow oh my god! Bombs grow like flowers and really fast. They're growing gunpowder. That would be really cool. I just love that sound every time I complete a puzzle. That wasn't even a puzzle. <laughs> I know how to do this. I push it like that. Get up here. Push this halfway. Yeah, this is the faster way to get up. The fastest. Okay, let's see. Ugh. Oh, I thought that was for a parry attack. No! I hate dialogue! This isn't even dialogue. What am I thinking? Okay, so... No! Stupid rats! Death to the rats. Save the chickens. Okay. Oh my god! Link, you are so stupid. Just open the chest. How long have I... It's only halfway through. I bet I can get this done. Might take a little while. Okay, so what's next? I have a feeling I'm just gonna get one of the rats and steal all my money. Oh my god! I am so used to having B swing. And throw. Okay. That is perfect. -y. Just so you know, I'm using the pro controller, which means I do not have motion controls. 
even if I did have motion controls, it wouldn't be just for, like, looking around and stuff. If I would use motion controls, it would be for something like this. I- it's just worth, like, doing- like, using the cool pro controller. Whenever I'm doing a Minecraft episode with Boyleaf, he always has the pro controller. I let him use it because, well, he's my guest. And I'll use the stupid Wii U gamepad. Ugh. Got the key, and now let's get out of here. Don't fall. And there we go. Here's the dark room. It doesn't need to be so dark with my trusty torch. Ugh. Set the bats on fire. Death to the bats. Save the chickens. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we got a narrow bridge. I'll just look at the... Ah, next thing on my list, I will explain. I do very good with collabs. They need to be there to prove to my audience that I am really that stupid. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. That's why I do collabs. And I do know that all of them are at this bottom floor. Ooh, they are... He is getting wrecked. I'm gonna beat up the next guy with just a stick. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, wow! Oh. Throw pots on the face! Okay. Never mind that. Hopefully he's dead. Yep. And... Yep. That is how we do it. I remember I used to have an emulator for... I Well, I still do. I have an emulator for GameCube games. And... I used to play Wind Waker on here all the time because I could do the storage glitch where I could, like, pull out my Wind Waker in mid-air. It was always, like, so fascinating to me. I really like to use it. This part is a really hard part. Throw. No. Jump! No! Dang it, that... As I said, this part is very difficult for me. Throw it like that. Oh, come on. Ugh! There we go. Let's keep going. Throw. Stand. And fly. Or, well, fly. There we go. I only have half a heart left. This is not good. There better be hearts in here. I'm pretty sure in one of them there's a heart. Dang it. Are one of these enemies I thought the other was? No. I'm not finding anything. I thought there was enemies around here. Dang it. Bro. There we go. I'm pretty sure... That stone right there is, uh, a warp pot. I'm hoping it is, then if I die, I can easily just go through the pot. Having half of a heart is not good when I'm trying to defeat a mini battle pretty soon. So, let's see up there, there's the big fat red <laughs> dragon. I need to go back to preschool, I swear. There's eight sides on a on an octagon. That is the color red. What's next? Will I not know how to eat? Oh no, they're trapping her. Well, I'm dead. Death. It's everywhere. That is the first time I have died in this series. Well, what do you know? No. Yes, continue playing. I always gotta, like, not save just in case, like, the audio is terrible and I, I have to redo an episode. Because, like, I can just, like, 
quit and then not save. Oh my god, it is a really good way to start this off by getting hurt. So let's go through the warp pot and kill the enemies. Okay. Let's go back through here. Uh, I'm gonna quickly try to find out if I can actually access Amiibo. Okay, so, I am using the Wii U gamepad now. I'm going to try to put in an Amiibo. Oh my god, I'm, I'm bending my Amiibo. Trying to... Well, it did not work. And myth busted, this is not compatible with Amiibos because why does Wind Waker have to be? That's not reason. You know what? Let's just go back to gameplay. Okay, I have the Pro Controller now. I realize that Amiibo is not compatible. Why, Nintendo? Why? I mean, you did it in Twilight Princess HD. Why can't you do it in Wind Waker? I spent the money on the Amiibo, and I, I, I gotta get some good things from- Oh, wow. I should have parried that. Yes! Oh, come on, Link. The butt. Well, I'm not even able to do that stupid- Those crazy moves. I don't know why I call this stupid. hi -ya. Birds and pigs, isn't that what Wind Waker is all about? Nope. Die! Ugh. I'll parry your attack. No, I wasn't able to parry it? Oh, now I am. Haha. -ha. <gasps> no! Dude! How many hearts did that take? Oh, wow. How many hearts did that take away? Show on the screen right now. This is crazy. No, I would I would rather not. Oh my god. That battle. It is triggering me. Not really, but it's just really frustrating. No, I'm I'm trying to get rid of them without getting hurt. Oh, my. I took twice as much damage I did last time. I need to be better. Okay, so let's go through the door and hopefully this won't go terrible like the last time. Let's just cut to the battle. Oh. I forgot that happened. Wow. Okay, so back to the same cutscene over again. And let's. Ooh, is there a. Oh. No! Yes! Smart over physical! Okay, that guy's dead, right? Come on, thrust. What? He's still alive. No. Okay. On to the big guy. I'm surprised I'm failing really hard at this. I'm usually really good when it comes to Wind Waker battles. Well, I haven't played in a really long time. Took an entire heart. What the heck? Shouldn't he just be using his fists? This is absolutely crazy. Oh wow, I just saved. Well, let's just hope the best that the footage is good. And let's just try to get here as fast as I can. Yes! There we go. Now that is what I call gameplay. Saving the hearts for the battle. 
Um, speaking of emulators, I actually did download some stuff for, like, NES, SNES, N64 emulators, but guess what? They don't work. So, that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> I do actually have controllers for every single, um, like, <laughs> well, Nintendo system. Got an idea. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ugh! You've got nothing to defend yourself but a shield. A really crappy wooden shield. Money, not hearts, eh? Okay, so now for the big guy. I have full hearts. I have a good feeling about this time. Oh my god. I don't know if he's just constipated or trying to help. Oh, oh. No. No! That... Oh god. God. No. Ugh. Stop sniffing the ground. No! Okay. I got a little bit too excited for that. Whew. I think that took me, like, three or four tries. Wow. Well, I'll soon be getting more heart containers, hopefully. Then I can get more hearts. Blah, 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 blah. Dang. It looks like he's either really constipated or just really letting it out. He's got some anger issues. Da -da -da -da. Whoa, the screen. Varouche, or what is. No, not Varouche. Valu? I'm not even sure. So, I think we're gonna actually have to end it off around here. I was planning on doing it for 25 minutes, but. And then I thought it would be alright, but I guess, I guess I can just stop it right now. It'll be probably about 27 or 26, I don't, I don't know, somewhere around there, that many bit, minutes, including the times I have to cut out stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I read every comment I get, I really like feedback, blah 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 blah, and goodbye.